For this problem, we're going to practice regrouping in the hundreds with an addition problem. We're going to add the number 1,200 plus 2,900. On my place value mat, I've set up 1,200. To the number 1,200, I'm now going to add 2,900. I'm going to start in the hundreds place. I already have two hundreds here, and I'm going to add nine hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I can't have eleven hundreds in the hundreds place, so I'm going to need to regroup for a thousand. So I'm going to take ten hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and regroup it for a thousand. Now I'm going to work in the thousands place. I have to add two thousands. So my answer is 4,100. Now that we've practiced adding with base 10 blocks, we're now going to add the same two numbers with pencil and paper. 1,200 plus 2,900. My first step is to move the two numbers from horizontal form where they're side by side to vertical form where one number is above the other. So I'm going to place the first number 1,200 on the top and the second number below it. Being careful to make sure that the places line up. Please note that I've kept the ones in the ones place, so the zeros in, in the ones place in both numbers are in the ones place. The zeros that were in the tens place in both numbers are still in the tens place. The two and the nine, which were in the hundreds place, are still in the hundreds place. And the one and the two that were in the thousands place are still both in the thousands place, so that we can easily add them without any errors. I'm going to draw in dividers to help me stay organized. And now I'm ready to add. So I'll start with the ones place. Zero ones plus zero ones is still zero ones. Move to the tens and add those two together. Zero tens plus zero tens is zero tens. On to the hundreds. Two hundreds plus nine hundreds. Ah, here's our challenge. We have eleven, but we can't get two digits in one place. We can only have a nine at the most. So, really, if we have two and nine, we'd have. 11, but we can't put two digits in the same place like I just said. But if you remember, what we can think of is 11 is a 10 and a 1. You could almost think of that as a number one. Where, oops, let me do that again. Where the 10 is a part and the 1 is a part, and they make the whole of 11. So, with that in mind, I'm going to remember that 10 hundreds, as we saw with the base 10 blocks, is equal to 1,000. And I'm going to do some nifty regrouping here. Leave one of my, leave my, my 100 in the hundreds column, and then move the, that's the one part, and then move the 10 that makes a thousand, the ten hundreds that make a thousand, to the thousands column. So now with my ten hundreds I have an additional one thousand. So I'll write that above. So now I'm ready to add one plus one is two thousands, one thousand plus one thousand is two thousands, plus another two thousand is four thousands. I need to remember my comma, and now I have my final answer to one thousand plus one thousand two hundred plus two thousand nine hundred which is 4,100.